All right, so we're going to find the area of these irregular polygons. And basically what it means is that these polygons are made up of rectangles. And we just need to break up the shape into rectangles. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to use the parallel lines um, to figure out the missing lines that are not given to us, the missing lengths. So the question asks, find the area of the following polygons below. So we're going to look at the parallel lines. We're going to look at the horizontal parallel lines, and then we're going to look at the vertical parallel lines. These are these right there. Okay, let's start with the horizontal ones. So this one goes from left to um, towards the center, but not fully to the end of the right. So let's draw that. So that is six meters. Next line, uh, next horizontal line. It's the next line that goes across this line right here. It's not given to us. The measurement of that is not given to us, but it does start at the end of the six miller, at the end of the six meters, and goes until the end of the right. Now the next horizontal line is this line right here, uh, the line that goes from the beginning of six meters to the end of this line we don't know. So we'll draw that, and we know that's twenty-four meters. All right. <clears throat> Now, to figure out this missing length, if it's one of the smaller lengths, all we're going to do is take away the smaller length from the largest length. Okay, so uh, 24 minus 6 is 18. All right, so this is 18 meters then. Let's label that in right there. All right, next, we go to the vertical lines. This is the first vertical line. We start from left to right. So we'll go th this line, then this line, then this line right there. All right. It goes from top to bottom. It's not given to us, so we'll move on. Uh, it goes from the very top towards the center, and we know that's 4 meters. And the next line goes from center to the bottom. So we'll draw it just like that. And it's very important that you draw the lines the way, they're, the way they're shown in the diagram because then when you're breaking up your rectangle, you'll be able to figure it out. All right, if you're missing the largest uh, length, you're just going to add up the two smaller lengths. So 4 uh, meters plus 5 meters is 9 meters. So this missing length is 9 meters then. Okay, now the fir first step is to um, use parallel lines to figure out missing lengths. Second step is to break up your uh, shape into rectangles. Let's do that. I'll break it up vertically here. I'll call this rectangle one and rectangle two. All right, so to find the area, we know that the area formula is base times height. So we'll go with the base itself. So we're looking for the horizontal line, base horizontal line that goes from left to the center and stops there. So the only one that stop that goes from left to center and stops is the six millimeters. So that means the area of rectangle one is six meters times. Now we're going to go up to the very top of this shape. And the only line that goes from bottom to the very top is this nine meters right here, very bottom to top. So we'll multiply by nine meters. All right, now we multiply 6 meters times 9 meters, 6 times 9 is 54, and meters times meters is meters squared. So that's the area of rectangle 1. For rectangle 2, we'll do the same thing. Start right at the left of rectangle 2. Um, we're starting the horizontal line that goes from center to the right. So the only line that goes from center to the right is 18 meters. All right, so that means the base is going to be 18 meters and I say that because I don't want you to confuse and think this is 24 remember 24 goes from the very left to the very right this rectangle isn't going from the very left to the very right it's starting from the center and going to the right so that's the only line that goes from center to the right alright next we have um, the height uh, and we have the height that goes from center from the very bottom I'm sorry to the center only height that goes from bottom to center is the 5 meters, so that's 5 meters. All right, now we multiply. Double digits, so let's work it. Work the multiplication. 
8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 90, so this is 90, and then meters times meters is meters squared, or square meters. So we'll add up these two. <clears throat> the last step is to um, add up the areas, all right, of the two measurements. We have 54 square meters, or meters squared, plus 90 square meters, and our units will be in square meters. And 5 plus 9 is 144. It's 14. So we get a, a total area of 144 square meters. That is the total area. All right, and that's how you find the area of irregular polygons. Just to review the steps real quick, first step is to use your parallel lines to figure out the missing lengths. Second step is to break up your figure into rectangles. Next step is to find the areas of the individual rectangles you've made. And last step is to add up the areas of each, um, each shape that you broke up. Hope this helps.